Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats, uh, and in this video, uh, another video in our series of videos dealing with discrete frequency distributions, uh, we're going to concentrate on calculation, how to calculate the variance and the standard deviation uh, of a discrete frequency distribution. And this example, uh, which is which uses the same frequency distribution that I used in the previous video, where we calculated the mean, uh, is basically based off uh, an experiment where we basically consider roll well, we roll a die 23 times, okay? Uh, and we keep track of how many times the particular discrete face, va face values have occurred when we've rolled the dice 23 times. And here are the results here. Uh, the first column is a list of the outcomes that could possibly happen when we roll a particular dice. It's a six-sided die, so it has six six faces, uh, each face with a number on it, uh, labeled one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, and the second column keeps track of the frequency, how many times these particular face values appeared when we rolled the die. So, for example, uh, a one appeared on the dice three times, a two appeared five times, a three four times, a four six times, the five appeared twice, and out of the 23 rolls of the die, the six appeared three times in total. So the total frequency uh, is 23, representing that we rolled the die 23 times. Okay? Now, what we'd like to calculate in this particular video is we'd like to calculate the variance and the standard deviation. Uh, now, just keep in mind that depending dependent on whether the, the frequency distribution is associated with population data or sample data, we've got two different formulas uh, that we can use for the variance and two for the standard deviation. So, in this case here, we've only rolled the die 23 times. So, this, is, this can be considered, considered as sample data. So, from a sample perspective, let's say from a sample perspective, perspective, uh, we have that the variance uh, symbolized by S squared is simply equal to, well, by definition, it's the distance that the observations are away from their respective mean value squared. Now, because we're dealing with a frequency distribution, each one of these observations will be a distance away from the mean value. But there are, in this case, there's three of them. So there's F of the observation. So that must, must be multiplied by F. And then that's summed up. And then what we divide by is we divide by the sum of the frequencies, sum of the frequencies minus one. The sample size minus one is what we're effectively dividing by here. So this is what the sample, from a sample perspective, this is what the sample, the sample variance is. So this is the sample variance. This is the variance. Okay. Uh, and the standard deviation by definition is just the square root of the variance. So S is simply equal to the square root of this. So it's the sum of the frequencies times the x's minus the x bar squared. Don't forget, the x bar is the sample mean divided by the sum of the frequencies minus 1. And it's the square root of that particular value. And this is the standard deviation. Standard deviation. Okay. So what we're going to do is, that's in the sample, in the sample case. Now, if this was population data, in other words, if we knew the full characteristics of the die, let's say from a, let's say from a, some sort of, uh, let's say with the die is loaded a certain way and we know that these, that out, of, out of 23 rolls that, that these particular proportions are going to going to occur, well, then we could, assume, we could assume it to be population data. But in this case, we're assuming it to be sample. But from a population perspective, from a population perspective, perspective, we can also calculate the variance of standard deviation. Okay, so we can also calculate the variance. And the variance, the formula for the variance is quite similar to this formula here. The symbol that we use is sigma, sigma squared, and it's equal to the sum of the frequencies times the observations minus their mean value, mu in this case, because it's population data, squared, but this time just divided by the sum of the frequencies, we don't take away one. There's a complicated explanation in relation to why the sample variance, we, we reduce the denominator by one, and in the population case, we don't, but we won't go in. That's well beyond the scope of what we're doing. Uh, so now we have the standard deviation, standard deviation in the population case, deviation in the population case defined by sigma is simply equal to the square root of this. So it's the sum of the f's times the x minus 